All right, so today we are here watching another movie. Uh, this one, this is one of the rare movies that I've actually seen that Ben has not seen. That's not a common occurrence ever. So um, today we're watching a movie called A Talking Pony. Mm -hmm. Or if you go by the title at the beginning of the movie, it's called A Ponytail. Um, this movie I know is very bad. Um, it's based on a movie called A Talking Cat. Which was a movie that was on Netflix a couple years ago that um, I found that was terrible. And then he watched. Um, I told him to watch it. And let me tell you, Talking Cat was so bad, it took me five tries to get all the way through it. Like, I couldn't do it in one sitting. I had to, like, watch ten minutes of it, stop. And then a week later, I'm like, okay, I'm going to try again. Do the next ten minutes. It took me, like, a month to get through that movie. Whereas I'm a professional shit watcher, it only took me one sitting. <laughs> so, I was like, well, get through this shit. And I'm done. A little bit about these uh, talking animal movies. Um, they stretch the runtime of the movie out by showing the same shots of some random ass nature that has nothing to do with anything. It's the producer's backyard, I think. You told 12, me once. 13, 14 times. I don't know, but it's uh, really bad. So I, I'm not going to draw this out too long. I'm excited for Ben to see this movie. I think you all will be very excited to watch his reaction. <laughs> to this movie it's gonna be pretty good i hope um so yeah we're we're just gonna dive right in here to a talking pony fun family features <laughs> your helps hi ben and this is the same person who did a talking cat oh this one's called horatio the talking horse what <laughs> this movie has a third title i didn't know about Okay, so I found out something new about this movie already. Uh, shots of some random nature that have nothing to do with anything. I mean, this is how Dawn of the Planet of the Apes began. That was a great movie. This is this basically the same thing. Same plot, same everything. Where are you guys? Oh, wait, that's right, because she has brothers in this movie who are just assholes. Total assholes. Of course. Yeah. And see, here's the thing. You see the shot of the woods and the camera's turning, so you think it's going to reveal her walking out into the woods here. No. No. It's just, here, look at some rocks. Some lovely moss. And you would think, oh, is this kind of where the horse, you know, Horatio the Talking Pony walks around? Not even. Not even a little bit. I mean, there's a big difference between a horse and a pony, so... I just thought it was size, but... So are there any Mexicans riding donkeys in this? No. Damn. There's like a poor man's Rob Lowe, though. <laughs> really? Yeah. He comes later, though. Oh. oh. I love it when breakfast is waiting for me when I'm awake. <laughs> Don't have to make that shit. Yeah. What is this, my birthday? No, it's breakfast. Why'd she ask, what is this, my birthday? Wouldn't she know what her birthday is? Like, how breakfast for me? It must be my birthday. Maybe she just woke up from a coma. Well, that actually kind of plays into this. Did she get a brain tumor or something? And it was like, I can talk to the ponies. <laughs> kind of, yeah. <laughs> you just predicted and unraveled the entire movie in three and a half minutes. All right, get ready to meet... Horatio. Horatio. Breakfast coming right up. All of the Oscars. We on the Look at her face. The ranch and all its properties to the banks. <laughs> Got you again. Why are you like seven? Try putting a teen at the end of that. Yeah, and we'll always be older. Oh, sick you. burn, bro. See, all right. So here's some trees. Beautiful. Nothing's gonna happen here. I love this place, Juliet. Sorry, Jules. I don't want to move back. To Jules. Sea. I think okay, Juliet's better. We can do. I, do. I don't. I think Jules. Well, what happened to Horatio? No. Your dad made a wonderful life here for us and for Horatio. So, so we're gonna do. They have a farm, but they only the have lottery? one horse yes. on their ranch. Yes. I tried. Good. I was wondering what those trees had been up to while those bitches were talking. He's going to be my manager. Honestly, he'll be handling all the deals. Yeah, looking to be a real model. Yeah. Okay. Prove it. Do you have two tens for a five. Absolutely. She's the smart one. So Why are there so many cars? Uh, that's that. all of the crew members. Man. I know, you but know this. I know that, but I'm asking for the audience that doesn't know how movies are made. <laughs> Wait, did you see what that just that tree just did? Did it move? No, it didn't do a goddamn thing. Why don't you just keep scamming your brother and you'll have the money to pay off the ranch? Hey, yeah. Show? In like three I days. Like holding that. Grown up together. You're my horse brother. When I looked up reviews for this movie, there was somebody who was. He was complaining about how they were improperly riding a horse and how the horse was upset or something. 
Really? Just commenting on all this behavior here. Yeah, it was really funny. They had a budget for one Cadillac. Look at that. Now, Wesley, Told you, poor man's Rob Lowe. Won't your father work his magic and one day soon oh his magic in one of the biggest Told you. Do they own a mall? I don't really know. I'm not really paying attention. They're trying to take the ranch, I assume? Yeah, they want to take the ranch. Okay. Well, obviously not the son. The son's going to get with the girl, I'm sure. Yep. Is his name Romeo? No. I don't think it is. Is it Romeo? <laughs> Romeo? <laughs> it's ramen noodles. Horatio. Horatio, the talking boy horse. Make any sense. Really? A <laughs> horse sign? It's like, watch out <laughs> for people crossing. riding horses. And why do I care about that? <laughs> Cause this is a deer crossing! It wasn't a deer crossing sign, that was a horse sign. And there was no deer! I want like a sea monster to come out of the lake and be like... Oh. Either that or it'd be like an elf, like Mr. Narwhal comes up. Bye buddy, hope you find your dad. Oh my god, I'm already... I can't take it, this stupid lake. This is, this is like a talking cat. Where I got 20 minutes in, I was like, I can't do it anymore. Was 412 <laughs> times 97. <laughs> Divided by seven. I think that's the first time I've ever sneezed during one of these things. That's interesting. Oh no, I was asking you. Did these kids you don't know have the friends? Either, do you? I'm trying to change the I subject. Apparently I made not. Point. Yeah. No, you didn't. You would have to know the answer. Would you be friends with that? No, I would You're not. <laughs> that's a fair question. That's a fair question. Hey, look, the guy's already there. Did you see his Cadillac in the background? He's already there. If we did a drinking game of. But Every time there's a repeated I shot or something stupid happens, we would be dead already. There, at least what just happened. That horseshoe fell on her head. Yeah, I just... Why it fell on her head? I mean, gravity, obviously, but still. But what knocked it off the nail? Nothing. The sound effect did, clearly. Oh, okay. Well, then that's settled, then. See, it's, pro it's hard to make fun of the... She's this... looking at the screenplay. Is she? I can see that you've really put a lot of, um... Time and effort into this. We're, We're not, not even reading it. Yeah, you live in the pages. The detail in all of this, it's just so. Yeah. Oh my god, who wrote this? Maybe nobody. And he wants to also... build a parking garage on their yeah, ranch. Right yes. Right. Okay. Because well, that what? parking lot out in front is so small. Your father has well, what? A I don't know. To put your car <laughs> there. I don't know. <laughs> He was talking about a mall earlier, but like, is the mall being built right there next to them as well? I don't think so. I don't think there'd be room. What is it? He's playing a Sims game in real life. He's like, no, we're gonna build this here now. We're gonna make no bathrooms and no doors in this one room. We'll trap everyone inside. It'll be great. Yeah. <laughs> Put everybody with a bunch of like stove tops and grills and shit, so they set themselves on fire. Or am I the only sick? Asshole who did that. No, everyone did. Okay. Just want to make sure. Because uh, who who among us doesn't have a little bit of a god complex, right? Some uh, more than others. I feel like we've been away from this chick and the talking pony for a while. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, she's been dead for a while. Juliet? See? Juliet? Are you okay, Juliet? Oh, my. Juliet, speak to me. I'm fine. We couldn't even miss their head that and give him some peanut butter? Nope. Ow. They homeward bound that shit and do nothing. The lucky horseshoe above my stable fell and knocked you out. Well... Lucky. By whose definition? Not so well, I lucky. I don't know. Your father hung it up there, and and he's always just said that it was lucky. Remember? And now, I'm hearing voices. You have internal what bleeding on the voices? brain. You're going to die. If if we edited this movie and took all of the nature shots out, it would be like 20 minutes long. Oh boy! I swear. I moved here eight years ago with my boys, after I married Ryan. He's really the one who worked the land and built all this with. His daughter Juliet, my stepdaughter. Want to sleep? I've tried my best to keep it going, but boring. it is nothing happens. Oh my god! Oh, here's Juliet now. Juliet, this is Mr. Beetle oh, boner and his alert. son yep. Wesley. This <laughs> is fine. My father doesn't shake hands. Boner alert. Your reaction time for things like that is well, truly there's, incredible. There's nothing wrong. With me. Really like to show Mr. Beetle the advantages to running a, a successful operation as opposed to a new shopping mall. I'd love to meet him. Horses are awesome. Since when did you start to love horses? Since I left the city and and saw that ass, Dad. Fuck off. <laughs> Get away from me, you flying spot. It, it, it's a bee, Mr. Beetle. <laughs> Even worse. That is actually worse. Stink. I, 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 I to totally kill agree with his reaction now. I would take a fly over a bee. Why doesn't it? Oh my god, what is that, a black widow? No, it's a scorpion. You're fine. 
chill out. God damn. It only kills you if it poisons you. You're fine. It only kills you if you end up dying from it. Ratio? I, I like being able to communicate. Yeah, well, not when we're on the verge of losing the ranch. Oh, what are you saying? Now you don't understand. You're gonna, gonna become be glue, glue, sir. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna become glue. There's this really rich guy who wants to buy the ranch and turn it into a... Oh, so we're some I'm dark motherfuckers. <laughs> did you just hear his wee snow? Did you hear that? Yes, I did. I wish you would actually say wee snow. Kids, if you don't understand what wee snow is, your childhood is worthless. Oh, water slide. Oh, there's something interesting, but nobody's on the water slide, and it looks like it leads into a hillside. It does, actually. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You game the man, Wes, on occasion. Wasn't but I bet you $20 if you pick a number from 1 through 10. Heroin. Eight ball. Acid. Okay. Slather acid. One? Yes. I got your back. Let's do it. Bath salts. Nah, that's just dangerous. Right? Number seven. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's where we draw the line. This f***ing bath salts. Okay. Well, you know, I, I don't take anything that turns you into a zombie. Well, since this movie's so boring, there's been this thing sitting on the desk here that I would like to show the camera. This is McSteeny. Doing that. I don't know what he's doing. Yeah, that's at his trivia, so, um, that's our pal McSteeny doing his, uh, trivia thang. I see all the top doctors sitting You've either already seen him in one of these episodes. Yeah, you've already seen You saw him in the last episode, uh, with Super Mario Brothers. Okay, Jules, what did you want to show us? Did you teach Horatio a new trick? She's wonderful with animals. I taught Horatio how to do fellatio. It's amazing. Watch. Why don't you say hi to this nice gentleman and introduce yourself? How does she teach the horse to do fellatio? Hello. It's a to meet you. My name is Horatio. So this horse walks into a bar, and then the bartender asks the horse, "Why the long Why face?" The long face? Yeah. <laughs> Get it? So all they're probably hearing is. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. We snow. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't the best joke in the world, but it was told by a talking horse. A talking horse? Are you crazy? Cry, cry, girl. Did you not all hear Horatio just speak? Meanwhile, okay. his son's like, Shh, fish crazy, I can get this, out of you this today. You did it all by quitter. yourself. <laughs> You're talking to the horse, aren't you? See? Nope. Uh, he got it. That's right. But through the power of boners, he's and able to be... Hear the she is actually you. hearing this Should horse. Should I answer I that one? This. No. I'm gonna believe so her. You can't hear the horse? I'll get new material. My next performance will have them rolling in the aisles, I promise. I'm glad he went for just rolling in the aisles and not city. rolling in the stables, because that's just been too much and I would have had to kill myself. Now do you understand why it was so hard for me to get through a talking cat? It took me like five tries, because I felt like this the whole time. Hey, a bald eagle, there's actually something interesting for once. God, he's looking, he's looking right into the, like, his soul. He's, he's like, breaking, why are you watching this? He's breaking this? the fourth wall, the horse is breaking the fourth wall. Like, why are you watching this, humans? <laughs> you have better shit to do. My eyes have been wide open. Except when that buzzing flying creature was trying to kill me. If you mix Rob Lowe with Dennis Reynolds, you get that guy. I don't think they're... Right? I do not understand this. Why do we have to watch all these scenes of her just hanging out with the horse, shoving a bucket up his face? So we have like another 30 minutes of this bullshit. I thought it was supposed to be out in the middle of nowhere. I see a house right yeah, there's, in there. There's a house right up there. <laughs> Somehow we have they to make this into a watchable just episode out of something. Reach and then tied my How are we gonna to do the that? Post. So when I got up to turn it off, <laughs> just make faces <laughs> for like the next thirty minutes. No, I'll just pat it out with a bunch of fucking nature shots. This horseshoe is above uh, Horatio's stable, so when that I opened the door, it is fell. Made out of foam, very clearly made out of foam. Maybe that's it. What? Since I'm the only one who got hit in the head, maybe I'm the only one who could hear Horatio speaking. Quick, let me this beat you with this! <laughs> well, what do you think's gonna happen? Horatio suggested that if I hit you with the horseshoe, maybe you'll be able to hear him too. That's a horrible idea. Why? It sounds like it involves pain. No, An assault. You don't have to hit you that a hard. deadly weapon. How yeah. about a little Assault with a deadly the horseshoe. <sighs> Gonna happen if you kept hitting him with it's like in Top Dog when we talked hands. about hitting a guy in the when head with a f***ing brick and they just drop like a rock. Yes. Hello, Wes. Nice day, isn't it? What? Yes, Mr. Tree. It's very nice. I see you branching out all over. No. No. I do not accept that. Wait, what? I'm not sure what's going on there. She's just spinning around. Guess what? Right. what? Said you I have, have no underwear on. Sweet! What is it? Yuck. Whoa. 
This movie is for me what the Garbage Pail Kids movie was for Ben. Hitting someone in the head with a horseshoe isn't going to suddenly make them believe in something like... Being able to hear a talking horse? Exactly. Wes, who are you having this conversation with? Uh, it's still going. I like that owl mug. Amazing. I haven't felt oh, this yeah. good since... Back on the theme of me pointing out objects I like in movies that bore me. Wow, I can feel my nasal passages starting to open up. Ew. Yeah, it's my own special herbal brand. It's much better than that stuff. Her own special shops. herbal brand? So there's I think weed it, in there. Yeah, there's weed in there. Three, three in the city, so he might not remember really much of it. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. It's like all of the flavor, none of the effects. Whoa. <laughs> 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 like this movie, it's like it has all of the trappings of a family film without any of the effort. Watch it. At least, at least now I'm the one hating the movie for once. Normally it's Ben. Is this like a dream within a dream within a nightmare? No, this is not Depends. Inception. Remember when I said I would show my kids, like, Baby Genius is three? I would not to watch it. Like, unless they've done something to upset me. <laughs> it's punishment. It's like, you guys, you're watching a talking pony. But I do make a mean lasagna. You know, <laughs> does it, does it right insult you or something? This is an amazing You're like, I made lasagna, yay lasagna! Hey, crazy what are you looking at, Plus, bitch? <laughs> help next year when the boys go to college. Hey, this lasagna is pretty mean. And then after you eat it, you get like indigestion. You get the shits from it. Do you have a pen? What? Oh, she's gonna sell away the farm. <gasps> no! I didn't care about that farm anyway. All I care about is this goddamn waterfall. What would this movie have done if there was no nature anywhere? I guess the car. What was I supposed to do? Get on my. So they're gonna get. Watch. Watch. I bet they're gonna get angry and meet each other with horseshoe. Don't call me a moron, idiot. Oh. I don't remember this part. Oh, <laughs> There's less than 10 minutes left in this Dad, movie. Did you close the deal? So, I've completely Monty, missed the last 10 minutes of this thing. They've just been talking about how much they love living Dad, in nature. Okay? He bought the place, the and now he's yes, had like yes, a come to Jesus fat, moment, yes. and he's like, oh, I see everything differently now, and now the farm can stay, and we don't have to turn Horatio into glue. Where are they running from? A horse that's caged up. <laughs> well, you've been a great audience. I hope you all have enjoyed my little tale. <laughs> but as you can see, this is definitely the end. Thank God. Nothing. Now watch, Nothing a different all. title's gonna pop. Oh, they fixed the title, so now it's the same there? Alright, so we just finished Horatio the Talking Horse, as it's apparently called. Or a ponytail, or a... No, but it was front the to back called Horatio pony. the Talking Pony. Right. Yeah, no, this was, but like, yeah. it's got other titles. It has other titles, many other titles. It's been known as a ponytail, a talking horse, and now Horatio the Talking Horse Pony. But, um, so it's done, thank God. It is certainly a boring film. It is boring, yeah. They just pad it out with all that nature. And it's just, and it's, it's... nothing it's, happened. And nothing happened. Literally, all this, the, in, the only stake that was put up in the entire movie was Oh, they might lose the farm and the horse is going to become a bottle of glue. And, uh... Honestly, I don't even know if that was a stake. I think it's just something I said. I took them as fact. Yes. Our alternate fact. Yes, they're alternative movie facts. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't like the movie? Well, here's something else we can tell you about it. So what are your three good things, Ben? Um... <laughs> um... The cinematographer was really good at getting shots of trees. Okay. Um, <laughs> this is really hard, isn't it? The horse was a horse. <laughs> it wasn't like an animatronic or a puppet or something. Okay, they actually managed to get a real horse. Got a real horse. Okay. Um, All right, I see. Um, the leading actor had really interesting ears that kept my attention for like a good thirty <laughs> minutes. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Well done. <laughs> well done. All right, now the bad things. I will limit myself to three. I did not like the girl. I did not no. like all the nature shots. <laughs> and I thought the acting was terrible. Especially the horse. I, mean, I didn't come like on. the horse. The nature shots were in focus. All right, And fine. like they were well lit. All right, they were fine. They were lit by the if, sun. If, if they were like in in like the revenant, revenants, everyone would think it was awesome. Okay, fine. I'll take the nature shots out of it. I hate. They're well, let me put this list to the plot of the movie. Yes, that's what it is. It's they pointless. don't transition in anything or anything. There's no like plot. Happen nothing happens. From time to time. Yeah. So that's my third thing. Yeah. Nothing happens. So now we got to give it stars. I'm gonna give it a one star because that's the lowest amount I can legally give it. 
So one out of five for me. I don't know what Ben's going to do. This is clearly a five-star movie. Okay. No, so... no, no, no. Oh, okay. Uh, I have to give it a one, too. There's, there's... All right, so we gave... It was certainly boring, and it was so... Um, out of the last couple movies we watched, this is the first time I broke my rules of checking my phone again. So, yeah, uh, we gave this movie two out of ten stars. Um, so take that as a cautionary tale. Thank God this one's over. And thank you for watching. Hopefully you made it to the end with us. If you didn't, I fully understand. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, join us next time when we're going to be watching a movie that is going to be more interesting and more exciting. Something's bound to happen. It has to. Hopefully. Hopefully. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed that, please make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another show. And you can follow us on Twitter. And make sure to check back next month when we watch Theodore Rex. It's a movie so colorful and engaging that we barely pay attention to it. Plus, find out why I'm laughing so hard. Oh, that's the funniest word I've heard all day. Okay.